Today we are making a porcini mushroom and barley soup. So this is what the porcini mushrooms look like, dried. I have 50 grams here, uh, probably about two cups of dried mushrooms. And this is what the package looks like. And uh, the flavor is totally different from your button mushrooms or portobellas. It's very woodsy, it's a very unique flavor. Not everybody likes it, but for people who do, this is a great soup. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these mushrooms with some boiling water and let them stand to reconstitute them, and then I'm going to chop them up, and I'll show you the next step. Now while the mushrooms are reconstituting, I chopped up some potatoes into like, I don't know, half-inch cubes. I have three large potatoes in here, and I have four cups of chicken stock just to cover it. Uh, you could use store-bought stock, uh, you could also use bouillon, bouillon cubes, uh, you can make it vegetarian, use vegetable stock, it's up to you. And uh, while that's cooking, I have some onions caramelizing here, I have about two cups of onions, and then I'll show you the next step when it's time. When the stock comes to a boil, I'm going to add three quarter cups of barley. I'm going to give it a little stir and I'm going to let it cook. So the mushrooms are reconstituted. I'm going to take this bowl and I'm going to strain it. I put a coffee filter in the strainer because there's usually quite a bit of sand and grit in the mushrooms. So I gave the mushrooms a rinse and I chopped them up. And the size is up to you. What size you want to chop them up into. And most importantly, do not get rid of that liquid from the mushrooms. This is liquid gold. This is where all the flavor comes from. So that liquid that I strained, I'm going to put in here. You can see a little bit of the grit at the bottom of the bowl. I'm going to keep that out of the pot. Now at this point, you could add a little more stock or water. If you want your soup to have more broth, you know, it's up to you how thick you want your soup. You could also add less barley or less potatoes. That's all up to you. Now here, my onions have caramelized, and I'm going to add one large grated carrot. And I'm going to cook that until it softens. And then I'm going to add this mixture into the soup. So this is the carrot and onion mixture. I'm going to add this to the soup now. So you cook the soup until the barley is cooked through, which should be about half an hour. And when that's done, you turn it off. Well, you taste it first, see if you like the seasoning. I didn't need any extra salt because my stock was salty enough. I'm going to add some freshly grated black pepper to taste. And a whole bunch of chopped up fresh dill. To serve the soup, I like to serve it with a good, generous dollop of sour cream. Hope you enjoy.